Hey guys, so we're here in the Discord server, and I've created this Discord server so that uh, you guys can talk amongst each other, that I can talk to you guys, and we can just <laughs> actually have a way of communicating besides the YouTube comments, because YouTube comments are not the best way to communicate, <laughs> number one. And uh, number two, I, need to f I feel like I need to uh, be a little bit more active and just talking to you guys rather than just, again, through the YouTube comments, because uh, I I am on Twitter, and some of you follow me there, obviously, but uh, I don't actually use Twitter too often, if at all. <laughs> uh, it's really more just for, uh, you know, another way of getting the videos out there, but I will be very active with this Discord server, because I, I'm liking it so far. I mean, obviously, not too many people in here, and uh, <laughs> as you can see, we get... Uh, a couple of the users in here are bots. We got the ref bot. Uh, I actually nicknamed it the ref. And then uh, we got the salary cap bot. And I'll explain a little bit on those two bots later. But uh, as you can see here, all the rules. And uh, feel free to read through those when you get in the server. And then here's what I really want to highlight, though. The server rules, uh, not rules, roles. Getting my vowels mixed up there. Uh, as you can see, the WWSY role, role, that is reserved for me, of course. And then uh, the community, that is assigned to regulars who I see in the comments or uh, regulars in the Discord chat. And then in the penalty box, that is if you're muted from the chat. So uh, if you do, if you break one of the rules, you'll be sent to the penalty box. And another one of my favorite uh, functions of the server is that we have several different roles dis so that you can display your favorite NHL team uh, under your profile here. So as you can see, I got the roles of, obviously, myself <laughs> and then uh, Devils. So I indicating, obviously, Devils fan. Uh, so when you, join the when you guys join the server, you can ask me to assign one of these roles to you, whichever obviously fits your favorite team and I'll assign it to you. And then uh, we have some custom emotes here. These are my absolute favorite. Uh, we have the, the WAT uh, e emote and then we have a trash bag. for what, So whenever we're talking uh, talking hockey and then, you know, a certain player on a certain team not playing so well, we, we can just use the trash emoji. <laughs> and then we can, uh, there's also a surprise Patrick emoji. There's also the Stanley Cup. We have Salt. We have the Robbie Rottens. We have the Kappas. We have the Guy Boucher's, but most importantly, we have the Doc Emmerich's, <laughs> uh, and then also, obviously, as you can see right here, we got the custom emotes for all the teams, so Anaheim, Arizona, Boston, Buffalo, Calgary, and the whole, whole lot, 31 of them, and then right here, so, yeah, I'll explain this when we get in the general chat. But uh, as you can see here, general chat, this will be just, you know, obviously general chat. <laughs> Anything that doesn't have to do with hockey, basically, because that has its own little channel right there. But uh, as you can see, if you type in blind ref, the ref will, will reply with a gif of this guy driving around blindly. <laughs> so, uh, and I could actually add more of those uh, on this. So if... Like, if I want to add another GIF, I could just put the link here and then the uh, command right there. And then, uh, so feel free to suggest some GIFs <laughs> if uh, if you find any good ones, any funny ones. And then uh, if you type rank, uh, there's a rank system with the ref. Basically, it's, it's more of a, uh, it's an activity system. Basically, seeing who's the most active on the server. And uh, it gets you up to level 99, I believe, is the top level, so... Again, it's just more of a seeing who's the most active on the server sort of thing. And uh, obviously, you get to see the leaderboard. And then Hockey Talk. This is where I think the majority of you guys will be uh, will be, will be be chatting. <laughs> and uh, so, obviously, hockey season just starting tonight. Uh, obviously, it's the fourth when I'm recording this. So, you know, hype for that. And... You know, obviously, I expect a lot of you to be in this uh, in this chat because you know this is a hockey channel. So, uh, but yeah, just uh, another another way to 
talk with you guys and the notification squad. This is going to be f- the channel designated for uh, basically notifying you, obviously, of any new videos or streams that I happen to do. So in case YouTube uh, decides to not show you my videos in the sub box, then you guys can see it here. The sour cap chat. Now, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. So as you can see, you have a corresponding salary cap bot, which is actually the um, the virtual uh, currency system that this server has, and it's a it's well, it's a Discord bot, obviously, and uh, it has basically an economy that uh, you can uh, take money away from people add add money to people's accounts and obviously keep in mind this is all fake money not real money all right <laughs> this is uh, and as you can see here disclaimer this is not real gambling it does not contain the use of real money doors real money used as a reward or incentive so it's really just uh this is really just something for fun something i thought would be uh, fun to implement into the discord server so i'll just go through the rules here really quick for the salary cap chat so uh the rules of this particular thing are you have to make your predictions before the game starts okay so hold on let me back up back that up a little bit so uh basically what you do in the sour cap chat is uh you place bids before a game starts for a specific day like today i think uh, st louis and pittsburgh are going on so uh obviously there would be a bid for st louis and pittsburgh so the format is away team versus home team and then your prediction and then the amount of money you want to bid that uh, you obviously have in your account. So, like, let's say if I do money right there, man, uh, does not appear to want to be working right now. The bot does not. So, uh, <laughs> that's a little, uh, a little awkward for this recording. But if you type in that, then you will be able to find out uh, how much you have in your balance, as you can see right here. And you can also type in exclamation point leaderboard it'll display the richest people on the server and that server store uh in the server store there is actually only one item and it is a double or nothing card i'll get to that later <laughs> um and uh you can see the item info you can see your inventory use item and then buy so all of these commands right here that's specifically for the double or nothing cards and again i'll get to that later but right now i just want to explain the basics of this uh this channel right here the text channel so uh again it's it's just sort of like a betting thing sports betting right we've all heard of it but uh, again it's not real N- not real money not any real prize just sort of something for fun and uh you can so you could say for example the rangers versus the islanders the rangers will win and uh, you bet fifty dollars that the Rangers would win, right? And then you so the multiplier for that is one or times one. So it's it's only if you only predict the winner of a game, then you only it's only a times one multiplier, and you either gain fifty dollars or you lose fifty dollars, right? But let's say if you guess the winner of the game and the score of the game. So let's say Anaheim versus New Jersey. New Jersey wins four to two, and you bet a hundred dollars. Right? And the multiplier is 1.5. So then you'll either gain 150 or you'll lose 150. So, I mean, that's, that's part, of the, it's part of the risk of the game, right? And then another example here, we have Toronto versus Montreal. Toronto wins 5-4 with James Van Riemsdyk scoring the game winning goal. So if you want to get really specific, then you get a th- times three multiplier. You bid 250. And because of the times three multiplier, you either gain 750 or you lose 750, right? So it's a big uh, risk you're taking, but you can really jump ahead of the pack in, in uh, the standings of uh, the richest on the server if you uh, go for that. And uh, another example here, San Jose versus LA. San Jose wins 5-2 to two with Joe Thornton scoring the game-winning goal, 500. And he, obviously the multiplier for that would be three, so that would be a 1,500 gain or loss. But here, the difference is we're attaching a double or nothing card, which we need proof of use, which will then double the gain or loss to 3,000. So if you're really confident in your guess or in your uh, prediction, then you can use that double or nothing card that I mentioned earlier to uh, really either take a huge loss or get a huge win. 
and uh, to get ahead of the standings. Now, let me explain the whole standings thing here. So uh, let's just go through the rules here first. Predictions must be made before each game starts, obviously. Uh, everyone will start out with 500 in server cash. Uh, no decimal cent values. So basically all values have to be a whole dollar value, like $1, $10, 55 no uh, <laughs> $10 and one cent sort of thing. So obviously you must have at least $1 in your balance to participate. And you could bin in as many games as you want during the course of the season. You just have to obviously mind your balance. Uh, and if you win a bid, then you will receive what you bidded. So if you bid 100, then obviously, you know, you know, just standard bidding rules apply. If you bid 100, then you get another $100. And if you uh, bid 100 and lose, then you lose $100 that you bid, right? So, uh, and then uh, multipliers. So if you guess... The winner of a game, you get times one, which is a normal multiplier. And then for guessing the winner of the game and and guess the score uh, is times 1.5. And then for guessing the winner of the game, the score, and the player with the game winning goal, you get a times three multiplier. And multipliers apply to both wins and losses. So, again, if you have the multiplier and you win, then let's say down here, you get 750 instead of 250. But if you lose, you lose 750 instead of 250. So that's, you know, it goes both ways. And uh, obviously, we talked about double or nothing cards. If you want to take a chance, you can buy one from the server store, which costs $100. So if you're bidding on, uh, if you're bidding less than, let's say, again, $100, then I wouldn't bother with the double or nothing, with buying a double or nothing card because it, there is a drawback to it. And obviously, that is that it costs. A little bit of money in the server store, and you could use it at any time during the season. You can you can even buy multiple double, double or nothing cards if you're feeling lucky. You can use it as many times as you want. Uh, just know that it does cost money to uh, buy one, and once you use one, it's gone from your inventory. So uh, you have to again show proof of use, and that is to do exclamation point use un uh, hyphen. <laughs> item i believe it is and again the the bot is kind of lagging out right now but uh again uh use item and then item name actually it is so uh that would be for for uh double or nothing that would be use item and then you would have to put uh commas around the thing you want to buy and then put double or nothing and the reason you put commas is because there's spaces in the name of the item so but uh, getting back to uh, this so uh, double or nothings will be applied after multipliers so uh, the multiplier will be applied first so example 100 times 1.5 is 150 and then you double the result of the multiplier so 300 now, if you hit zero dollars, you could take out a loan, uh, meaning you just ask me for money and I give you like a hundred dollars. But it will be need to be paid back at the end of the season. And again, not real money, just saying. <laughs> uh, and the fact that it will be need to be paid back at the end of the season may affect your end of the season ranking on the uh, on the rankings. <laughs> And then the money will be counted at the end of the NHL regular season. The person with the most money at this point wins the President's Trophy winner 17-18 roll. So uh, that would be right down here. And uh, yeah, it's just, again, not there's not really too much reward. It's just for fun. And then uh, playoff rules. Once the NHL playoffs start, the economy, just as NHL team records reset, the economy will be reset and at that point, everyone will start at the playoffs with a thousand in server cash, and everyone in the top ten richest uh, during this on the server during the regular season will be able to place bids during the playoffs and play for the Stanley Cup winner seven eighteen or uh, seventeen eighteen role. So, uh, but everyone else can still place bids during the playoffs for fun, but they just they won't be in tension in contention for the the Stanley Cup winner role. And uh, the name of the player who's in the playoffs and is highest up on the richest list at the end of the NHL playoffs will win the Stanley Cup role. <laughs> and uh, the ad economy will be reset on July 1st. So again, just something fun that I thought we could do. So as you can see, I've been working a little 
actually a lot on this, but uh, hopefully, and again, obviously work in progress. So let me know if there's any flaws, if you notice any flaws about it, and we'll try to fix that. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's it for this video. Just thought I would make a quick video, and I don't even know how long this video is. 70, oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, so it's much longer than I thought it was going to be, but uh, I didn't anticipate how long it would take to explain that, uh, the salary cap sort of thing. But So I uh, just wanted to let you guys know about that, and I will leave the link to the Discord server in the description and in the comments. Or maybe just the description. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I guess it'll depend on if, if I remember or not. But uh, you guys, so if you're interested, join the server. And if not, then uh, see you in the next one. <laughs>